download this file from the description below. Uh, it will be written down how to do it. It's quite easy. Uh, you need to just right click and extract to this folder and drag that down here. So if you open that folder and open this folder and open that folder, ignore that. I will be getting rid of some of those uh, very soon. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, you will see all of these files right here. So you have the fonts, you have the sounds, you have the template, you have a Blend 1, which is something that Blender creates, and you have a readme.txt, which is for people that can't be bothered to make it this far in the tutorial. So first off, you need to click the fonts and install this font. Just click install. I don't need to do it because I've already got it installed, obviously, because I had to make the template. So I can hit no, but you guys just need to hit yes and just install it to your computer. And then go back to here and open up the template. If your text looks different, you just need to click down here in the geom uh, in the font section and select your font from that folder. And yeah, then your text should come out like this. So it's really, really easy to change the template. All you need to do is select the name and press tab to change the text. Make sure you're typing in all capitals and just write what you want. So I want it to say Simpleton, right? Because that's obviously my name. And I want to change the color of the intro as well. So keep the text selected, come over to this side and change your diffuse color. I would like a nice kind of, actually maybe, maybe that kind of reddish color, I think. It might look nice because that's what it will look like in the render. And we can just preview that. Okay, so I don't like this. The S is being cut off. So all I need to do is just scale up this main cube and that should fix that problem. And there we go, that's all done. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want, I think. Although I don't like this cube covering up my text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it and press X to delete it because it's covering up the text and obviously I want it to actually be like, look, this is my channel, Simpleton. Right, so there we go. And it's that simple to change. Uh, so all you need to do now is just render it. So if you select the render tab over here, come down to the bottom and change your output to JPEG. It should already be set to JPEG, but then click this file here. And uh, I would render it in the text template folder. So that's desktop here, here, here. Uh, I'd make a new folder, just call it render and just go in that and click accept. And then all you have to do is just hit animation and this will go through and start rendering the intro so it shouldn't take too long mine takes me about an hour to do completely uh, this is like with all the um, color correction and everything because everything is done in blender you'll see it apply the color correction in a second uh, like so hang on Like so, yeah, you just kind of saw that pop. Um, but yeah, so it will apply the color correction and just keep rendering through. It will be making images for every single one, uh, every single frame. Uh, but yeah, it's literally that simple to change. So I'm going to let this render and I'll show you the end result after it has. Okay, there you go. You just watched the last frame render of this intro. So, um, yeah, that only took uh, an hour and five minutes for me. My CPU will be in the, de uh, the description so you can kind of compare it to your CPU to see how long it will take. Mine takes an hour and five minutes, apparently, for this entire intro. So that's really good. Um, so considering you've now exported this as a JPEG sequence, you need to head over to video editing, uh, go to your first frame and click add image, navigate to your images. So mine's in render, uh, hit a to select everything and hit enter and that will just add all of your images so now we can just watch this and it should all line up and look good there we go so easy so easy to edit it's easy 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 peasy and that's everything all you then need to do is just uh, go to the properties switch this to mpeg um, and then all these settings should be here. Uh, if they're not here, just copy them. It's easy enough. And there we go. And you just hit animation. And down here, it will just make them all into one file. 
we just compile all of the images together. So we'll just wait for that to do that. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, this should only take you a couple minutes. And then you should have your finished intro file. There we go, that's it. And wherever you set this to render to, it should be in the same folder. It will be called something like uh, 1 to 185.mp4. Uh, you will have your intro and it will look lovely. So thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, Leave a like if you enjoyed the template, and I'll see you another time, maybe with another template, or if you subscribe on another intro. Thank you so much, and see you later. Goodbye.